All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Barash, the honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wak Wakim, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. This is going to be another video through the Spirit. Uh, this article had popped up. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't really, uh, I mean, I could believe it, you know, but it, it popped up and it was infuriating. All right, hey, this devil, Esau Edom, this article shows you the true overbearing hatred that he has for our people, no matter what we do or don't do to him. They can, hey, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, true Edomites, all right, not, you know, because you have people that look like an Edomite or look like the nationality and they're actually an Israelite, you know, they're uh, Israelite foreigner, uh, but true red blood, <laughs> devilistic Edomites, all right, the, the true descendants of Esau, that was born on the other side of the fence they truly hate us and they want nothing more than either for us to be eradicated or to be uh perpetual slaves all right which is why he's about to is one more of the reasons why he's about to come down with that wrath in such a great fashion he wants to do to us what his forefather esau wanted to do to jacob after uh Isaac had died. All right, now this is from CNN. It says Louisiana Supreme Court uphold black man's life sentence for stealing hedge clippers more than 20 years ago. Salakia. All right, Count Salakia. Uh, my bad, call me. Uh, now this is, uh, I had read the title. You know, dude stole some hedge clippers. All right, so we're going to read the backstory. It says a black Louisiana man will spend the rest of his life in prison for stealing hedge clippers, which is what you use to cut your grass, all right? After the Louisiana Supreme Court denied his request to have his sentence overturned last week, it says Fair Wayne Bryant, 62, was convicted in 1997 on one attempt, on one count of attempted simple burglary. In his appeal to the Second Circuit Court of Louisiana in 2018, his attorney, Peggy Sullivan, which was an Israelite woman, black woman, wrote that, uh, oh, no, 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 uh, his attorney, Slocky, one of the judges, okay, it says, wrote that Bryant contends that his life sentence is unconstitutionally harsh and excessive. Last week, though, the state Supreme Court disagreed with five justices choosing to uphold life, the life sentence. All right, and we're going to read the down, but right there, he said, look, man, this is uncon unconstitutional and harsh. I, I'm, I'm in, life, in prison for life over these. Let me pull this up. Hedge clippers, y'all. Hedge clippers. This man is, has been rotting in prison, is going to rot in prison until he dies, until the kingdom come over these. All right. Nevertheless, he shouldn't have been trying to steal. You know, we're under Esau Edom's kingdom, but there's a certain scripture I'm going to jump to. All right. Could you imagine you you snatch some of these and now you're the, the rest of your life behind bars? Showing you Esau Edom is a cruel beast, all right? He's a cruel, cruel beast, all right? And hey, I'm not excusing thievery because in the commandments of the Bible, the Heavenly Father restricts us against it. But there are certain punishments that you give to a thief, and that is one of them. And the one that Esau Edom has given him is not proper, all right? This is Revelation chapter 13. To show you the hatred that they have for us. Revelation 13 and 11 it says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and the two had horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So that beast coming up out of the earth, well, we understand now as American, it said he had two horns. Because uh, back then it was Rome, the uh, 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 plebeians and patricians, and in today's times, the Democrats. And uh, Republicans, the two leading factions of America. And it says he spake as a dragon, meaning what? So they pretend and they pose on stage and on camera as if they're nice, soft, and delicate. But when it really comes down to it, these devils are handing out cruel judgment. They give the police officer the okay to murder you on the street. All right, you were jaywalking. You had your earphones in. You, didn't, you weren't paying full attention. You walked across the street. The cop comes up. You don't even hear him. He thinks you're running away. You have your earphones and you get your head blew off. All right, that's him speaking as a dragon. He gives the most harshest punishments for the most simple of infractions. All right, and we're going to get that word draconian law, which that uh, goes back to. Dracon draconian. Yep, draconian. 
1759 of or pertaining to Draco, the ancient Greek statesman, which was an Edomite in reference to laws, rigorous, extremely severe or harsh. Draco is Latinized from the Greek Draken. Yeah, let's see. His name literally means sharp sided. So these devils, A, give us rigorous, rigorous and extremely uh, severe and harsh punishment for minor things because of how much they hate us because of who we are and who they are not all right and this is all a part of the system that's why you'll have a jake who let's take a so-called black man and a so-called white man both of them get caught with uh five pounds of weed the so-called black man is going to be slapped with uh distribution and uh possession of drugs uh with intent to sell all right, you know, the white man is only going to be, uh, the Edomite, so-called white man is going to be just given, uh, 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 just possession. You know, he'll, he'll be out in nine months. That Israelite is going to be in for five to eight years. You know, this is how they do us. And this isn't me making it up. You can go read the, the court cases about this. All right, let's finish this article out. Hey, if I was that dude in there, hey, look, you know, hey, the, the Lord keeps us from certain situations. Because if I'm serving a life sentence over some hedge clippers, I'm raising hell in there. They're going to have to, hey, they, hey, they, I'm going to give them a reason to give me life, all right? Now, this is, uh, this is crazy. Uh, it says, the lone dissenter in the decision was Supreme Court Chief Justice Burnett Johnson, and she's an Israelite woman, a black woman, who wrote that the sentence imposed is excessive and disproportion, disproportionate to the offense the defendant committed and she's absolutely true about that all right that type of punishment hey that's like uh putting somebody to death over uh uh let's uh, in some of the law statutes and commandments okay okay uh making yourself un unclean okay we know that if you were unclean you had to go away for a minute let's say you made yourself unclean by you know someone died next to you all right and according to law you were unclean you just had to go away for a minute and you get put to death, you know. If you become unclean, you oh, what's one of the acts of becoming unclean? Sex. When you have sex, you become unclean uh, until the next, uh, until even, until the sun goes down. You imagine getting put to death for that. Oh, you're unclean. You gotta die. That's how Esau lives. All right. It says Johnson is the only female and black person on the court. The rest of the justices are white men. So it's showing you those were Edomite men with burning rage in their heart against that Israelite happy that he's in there it says the sentence is sanctioned under the habitual offender law johnson noted in in her dissent meaning that bryant's previous criminal history supports the sentence all right now this is the reasoning that they used to keep him in there for life it says bryant was convicted in 1979 for attempted armed robbery in 1987 for possession of stolen things attempted forgery of a check worth 150 dollars in 1989 which is probably like five hundred dollars in today's time and for simple burglary of an inhabited dwelling in 1992 all before his 1997 arrest for the fell temp at stealing the hedge clippers so this man has a history of thievery and when you look at some of them you know it's it's not hard to figure out that he was probably he probably grew up poor he was probably a poor man all right uh, uh, uh thievery is, is is a crime that poor people uh tend to commit all right not not excusing him you know it says attempted armed robbery you know so he you know he tried to he tried to steal some someone with a weapon in his hand you know so not excusing his wickedness but this those they took all that past evidence to try to they're saying oh well we're going to keep him in here for life because of what he did you know so let's uh let's jump down there's just one more part i want to get okay right here it says bryant's sentence is a modern manifestation of pig laws which were created in the years after reconstruction johnson also said the laws criminalized recently emancipated african-american citizens by introducing ex extreme sentences for petty theft associated with poverty she wrote hey and that's perfect explanation hey pig laws hey jim crow laws otherwise known as these niggas is out of slavery we got to make sure they still know who the boss is and that's how you saw edom is running his system today you can get you a, a fancy car fancy house have all the money you want there's still somebody at the top of society and it's not you jacob and these devils are going to let you know it 
So when they have the ability to punish you, they will, and they will harshly. All right, this is the last one I'm going to read. It says, this man's life sentence for a failed attempt to steal a set of three hedge clippers is grossly out of proportion to the crime and serves no legitimate penal purpose, Johnson wrote. All right, hey, and that's dead on point, you know. And so now we're going to get another scripture. That just goes to show you his hatred for us. They don't care. Hey, look, you have to really uh, hate someone, you know, to do them like that. Proverbs 6 and 30. It says, men do not despise a thief if he still to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. All right, right here. So if a poor man, he's stealing, you know, hey, he's broke or he needs this, he needs that. He, it's not right. It's not okay that he's stealing. But he's not, he's stealing out of necessity. Dude ain't ate in four days, you know. He was probably going to take them hedge clippers and try to sell them probably to get some money. All right, what, what they call flipping it. He was probably trying to flip them. And he, it was uns an unsuccessful attempt. All right, verse 31. It says, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. So that's what you do with a thief. You make him return what he stole, and you make him pay back. Uh, I believe back in Deuteronomy, it tells you double according to what he stole. So if a dude steals your $1,000 TV, and you, because if, if you catch him in the middle of your house in the act, you are allowed to take his life. If he's presenting you know, that much of a threat, this nigga in your house with a pistol, you know, it's late, your family in there, you know, you hey, you don't have to take that chance of trying to wrestle him, and no, you can, you can uh, send his soul out of his body, matter of fact, we'll get that actually, we'll get that actually, this is how you're supposed to deal with a thief, but Esau doesn't deal righteously, matter of fact, let's get this, Esau Edom does backwards, yep, Isaiah 26 and 10 it says let favor be shown to the wicked yet he will not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord so Esau Edom has the whole world in his hands he's the one uh, with the fatness of the earth but he still deals unjustly this nigga is in Jerusalem he's in the holy land what more could you want you have full control of the world and you're still doing wicked and the way that he punish, punishes people shows you all right he he's not the man that he's not the man with the plan. All right, let's go to. Uh... Yeah, okay, it's an Exodus. We're gonna to go to Exodus, twenty-two. Uh, we're gonna show you how you deal with a thief. Exodus twenty-two and two. It says, if a thief be found breaking up. <clears throat> so like, if a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall. There shall no blood be shed for him. So if you come in your home and there's a man in your house, an intruder, and you you end his life, you make his heart stop beating through whatever convenient means, then you would be that would not be considered a kin that a, a sin that is a righteous kill, and the heavenly Father is completely okay with it. All right, but now the rest of it it says that the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him. For he should make full restitution if he have nothing, then he shall be sold then shall be sold for his theft. Hey, that's another one of them. Okay, so hey, if this man if you don't catch him that day, you hear, you know, from the homies on the block, man, so and so was in your crib two days ago. Oh word, you know, you go check him out, you find that item, it says he's he's supposed to make full restitution. He's supposed to give that back and pay you. And then also, hey. It says, then he shall be sold for his step. Hey, you can make that man is a hey, servitude. Hey, look, you got to come work with me for the next four weeks. We going, uh, you know, I'm a farmer. You're going to come help me farm. That's how this is supposed to go. But Esau Edom is not like that. Oh, he's going to make you be sold. He's going to put you in his prison system to make you work for cents, cents an hour building things uh, that out here in free land on the street cost $500. That's what Esau Edom does because he's wicked. Verse 4 says that the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be an ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double. So he has to give you back what he stole and pay you back double. And you can make him work under you. All right. That's what you're supposed to do with a thief. But this man is cruel and wicked, so he doesn't care. All right. Now let's get this. I'll probably end it on this. This shows you the spirit that Esau Edom has towards us. He wants us to be gone. All right. 
This is that same ancient spirit, that ancient hatred, all right, that old serpent. Genesis 27, 41. It says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. All right, so Esau Edom has always wanted our heads on a fucking platter, going all the way back to these several thousand years uh, ago. All right, and nothing has changed now, which is why when they get the ability, they punish us severely. Look at all these so called police shootings. Most of these incidences could have simply ended with a ticket. Or just a simple, okay, you know what, don't do that next time. All right, and Jake isn't um, exempt from it because all a nigga has to do is keep their cool. Hell, I've had police draw on me, all right? Keep your cool. The Lord will be with you and you'll make it out alive, all right? You already know that this devil wants to wants to go blam, blam on you. Just keep things cool, all right? But this this shows you the, a hey, when those police kill Jake, this is why, all right? It's that ancient hatred. All they need is that reason or that excuse and that, that hey, I don't know what they see. Hey, maybe that, hey, maybe an ancient flashback of, 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 of Jacob and Esau back back in the day pops in their head, you know, and they don't, and they just go, this, that wicked spirit just take over and they go beast mode on Jake, you know? But that's about it. I just wanted to touch on that article. Hey, this is why this guy is going to come down with such cruel wrath because he hates us. All right. Every all of history shows it. the way that we've been treated, the way we get spoken to, the way that we have to live in America throughout the world, the way that we're portrayed in the media. Everything points to the fact that this man hates us. All right. You know, so, hey, with that, I'm going to give all praises to you. Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Rash, honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk, walk and learning, teaching and truth and sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom.